in a way if i get Quite more than ironic <laughs> People talk a lot, man. <laughs> See again. Oh, what? <laughs> There's a difference. There's a difference. I want to know. What's up, Sage? Hi. How are you? I'm good, Abhimanyu. Tell me something. Your name means patience, right? Yes. So you said that you know patience is necessary for athletes. It is. You tell yourself that. or you are like that or you forced yourself into believing that because no, I, my I'm name is abhimanyu and I, in a way i should be doing great stuff according to the history <laughs> behind this name uh no so according to what my mother says i am like compared to most people i am and then i trace it back to my name like okay maybe i am because my name is that <laughs> right. so it reaffirms right whatever yeah, your name exactly, is it yeah exactly. nice nice yeah So what's been up? Like how's life? What's been up? What's going in a champion's life right now? A powerlifting champion. I I've been stalking your Instagram and I see a lot of internal conflict. So what's happening? We'll start with that, no? <laughs> so, yeah, right now everything's like at a pause. Right. Nothing's nothing much is happening in um my life as an athlete okay i'm more focusing on my professional life right which is not related to the sport that i hmm. play which is uh so right now i work as the operations manager in a research company right so what is your job like like what do you have to do i know logistics i know all that stuff yeah But when you enter your office you sit down what is exactly that you do It's a very. <laughs> I just hope my boss does not. Watch I hope this. he sees this. <laughs> I hope. It's a very it boring him. job. Like. Thank you for saying that. Thank you. It's yeah. very boring. Like, I've never been so bored in my life. Sure. Like, right? <laughs> so it's it's a research company. We have projects that come. So uh, a client will come to us with certain criteria. What their needs are. What they need. for that project what kind of people they want to interview right so i just have to make sure that they get what they want right like setting the whole project in place making sure everything is running smoothly in the project right. they have the right people that they need okay dealing with vendors because in an, if you want to interview a sample set of say 30 40 people for a research mm-hmm. um you need like the the criteria of these people is very very specific like i want people of this age category this occupation they should have this phone uh-huh. it depends on project to project okay. mostly we do a uh, design ux research okay so it's like basically you're just getting the right and people. you're not getting satisfaction out of this particular job didn't you so, just hear me describing so so <laughs> so yeah so like mm-hmm. plan of action like athletes you know they they have this thing of decisiveness they take uh, steps i so quit my job you will i quit you oh <laughs> so you're not jobbing anymore <laughs> no uh, my last date is i have five more days so no, no you've given day. the notice and now you just okay last five days. nice so what next what you have done so far i'm going to talk about that but right now what's next so you don't know that that's a fantastic zone to be in right now Oh, yeah, why? Yeah. I mean, because I can see that you're figuring it out. Sure, you are an athlete because you, uh, you are competitive by nature. Yeah. See, you want to, you want to, right? But when it comes to your occupation, because sports can't be a, you know, full time occupation, yeah. right? It can't Except be. Except if you get into coaching. So uh, most right. athletes do that. They right. make. their passion their profession right they end up coaching right. maximum athletes do that but i try to hmm. and i just realize it's not my cup of tea like coaching people for a sport no right like regular functional training uh-huh. that kind of thing i can right. do but not but like yeah, you know, i can train for competition mm-hmm. okay we'll get to that later but yeah coming back to your life like what's been happening because you like many other people have made it public in a way like i've read your captions so you see what's going on inside now i'm not telling you to tell names or anything mm-hmm. but it looks like it's a rough patch right now so yeah we've got tissues we've got everything <laughs> so just just you know 
Just it's spell it out. Too rough. Right. It's just I'm very uncertain about okay. where I am, what I'm going to do because I'm not even competing. Mm. Mm-hmm. My uh routine at the gym has gotten very irregular. Like okay. I'm not I work out. Right. But I don't have a set routine like I used to. Like Right. before i had a coach mm. as soon as i stepped into the gym i knew what i'm going to do like right, right from my warm up till which stretch i'm going to do at the end of the right. workout it was all planned and mm. i am like i mean it's not that i hate being an operations manager right now like i like being organized and that's mm. what you need right so i i love planning my day i like planned was it because at that time you were a power lifter you had the goal of representing india as a power lifter so okay you got three lifts and you just have to you know the stretches you know the pattern right but now i'm guessing you're kind of over power lifting like you're seeking something else uh yeah also i had a coach back right. then so I I I had surrendered to my coach like uh, I entered the gym as athletes do yeah it's pretty natural exactly. yeah 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 you yeah. did that so now you don't have a coach so does that mean that no power lifting anymore yeah so in fact when uh, I stopped coaching especially during the pandemic right I lost direction like that okay. was when I lost it hmm. I I didn't get it back okay <laughs> like I just like it vanished somewhere <laughs> just That's never came back <laughs> right because for someone who has actually won a blue blazer right which is a dream of millions L- let me tell you you are an asset oh. to the country already i mean it who can deny that but here's the thing you losing it so early so early no pressure no pressure yeah. because we as you know indians would like to see people go up and we admire those people right so when suddenly someone who's representing Pune let's say right you're a girl from Pune who won bronze medal at world championship powerlifting suddenly you say that you know i'm done so it's your life nobody has control over it That's and true. you know with all due respect like why why so like I'm what not happened done i would love to go back and and i'd like i said i'm just directionless Fig- right right right, right. Now. like i don't know whom to go to who can coach me right now but or- uh, is, is it right to say that you kind of bored with powerlifting and you want to try something else which yeah, is so all right so i wanted to swap to weightlifting in fact i i never wanted to do powerlifting i always wanted to olympic weightlifting right but my coach back then said no you're not ready for it for right. you you know at least for a year you do hmm. powerlifting we'll see how it goes right then we can always switch right but I'm 23 now right. <laughs> and usually like if you want to compete in olympic weightlifting right Like people start at the age of 10 like 10 yeah, is also like 12 13 they start snatching exactly, at that age exactly. yeah and then so, they just perfect the craft till exactly, the time yeah yeah so i was anyway late mm. but um back in march exactly one year back right. when i was like okay like fuck okay. powerlifting right. i'm going to do weightlifting nice, now nice nice i got a coach mm. i would go every day i learned the lifts right. i learned the technique right and the pandemic happened yeah <laughs> Yeah and but, but I was still motivated. Your snatches are getting really crisp though. <clears throat> I mean I saw the video. I can see the yeah. progress like earlier yeah, I mean, you know yeah, clumsy yeah. falling down and then yeah. suddenly you're doing that neat. Yeah yeah. So it happened. You are 43 kilos right now. Your body weight. Like that's where yeah, it around. Okay, personal 45. question. It is impossible anymore <laughs> because you're an athlete so I can ask that. But uh, that's your category, right? Hmm. So how much is a 43 woman expected to lift when she's doing snatch at the international level like what are the numbers almost double body weight so that like you have to snatch somewhere around 80 90 kg 90 80, 90 100 90. in fact 90 100 if the competition gets yeah, really yeah. you know so powerlifting is not in the olympics yeah. like the highest level of is the world championship is the world championship yeah. but olympic weightlifting is in the olympics which right. is why i was more inclined towards this sport because i was like sure. okay bigger goal olympics yeah that's like yeah, that's a dream, dream right i'm sure the only <laughs> tattoo you would like to get is those five rings <laughs> right yeah yeah maybe yeah. makes sense no? maybe not yeah. but okay <laughs> because that's the yeah. best thing like we as viewers find that the best thing i'm excited for this one coming in july right i mean yeah. i stay up day and night to watch all that stuff and to So here's the thing that has it thought ever come across that okay done like hang the gloves like done sports done no no 
No, Definitely right? Not. Do you? No. That's what I really wanted to know because right now I see you losing a bit of hope. But do you? But miss I that? want to get back, like because I I miss right. that thrill of competing. Entering the stadium, right? Exactly. 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 That you know, whatever yeah, goosebumps, yeah. right? Very. Like it is so thrilling. The adrenal rush that is there, just. Even if it's not a stadium, like usually competitions in Pune <laughs> do sure. not happen yeah, at yeah. a stadium. It happens <laughs> in a school. Yeah, <laughs> you're on stage, but still, like stepping onto the stage, there are three judges right. sitting. They see you know if you're doing it clean, and it's just so much pressure. There's right. not too much audience right, in yeah, the yeah. sport, but still, even if there are like five people mm. watching. It's different. It is. That brings me to a question: What's happening lately, right? All these trainers, fitness trainers, who mm. call themselves as athletes, and then there are people like you, mm. who are athletes, right? <laughs> so, don't you think there's a huge difference when nerves get involved when you have to compete with someone else? Because it's no no disrespect to all those trainers; they've got phenomenal bodies, they work hard, but I see that most of them don't like competing. Like yeah. if you are a trainer, I would like I would choose a fitness trainer who has competed on stage, that gone on stage wearing that thong and tail laga ke body <laughs> chamka ke, who's done it, who's done it right. That's why I have huge respect for Deepika Chaudhary because she did it five years in US and won it yeah. every single time. Yes. People like Deepika, they are amazing because they know. So nerves. That's why. Do you? I know you are friends with a lot of fitness trainers, but right now is the moment where you diss everyone, right? Not tell I them that okay, feel, calm uh, the fuck down. I think that's the problem with an the Indian mindset is what I would say. Okay. Like they're just so happy in their comfort zone. Right. Ki I'm doing it for myself. I'm doing it for pleasure. Right. Like I don't want to get into the competition. Like any sport. Hmm. Not just being a fitness trainer, Even chess but for that matter. Anything. Yeah. Like people play badminton you take right. that for example any sport that they play they just do it for fun people swim for mm. fun like why not compete it's so because no one's ever taught us that the importance of it or the thrill that is in it like our parents would never say acha go start competing like oh, my parents say that yeah, yeah they like <laughs> why are you doing it then Like okay. they, they go See, like. See, there are very few parents. Like so, that. I think I think it's very subjective, right? Even I'm thinking about it right now. That you know, maybe it's not everyone's cup of tea. People like sitting at home and watching people like. Yeah, it's, oh. they're in their comfort zone. I love working out. Right. I'm fit. Yeah. Why should I just like? And okay, so I've uh, in fact at the gym there are so many members who lift really heavy, and I always approach them. I was like, why don't you compete? Right. So, yeah. Uh, I think here is where the imposter sy- syndrome. I think that's what they have because they're like, I'm just not good enough. Nerves. They can't deal with nerves. Yeah, yeah. They, they don't think they're good enough. So when in competition, so you've competed so many times. When in competition, what factor do you think is the most important that keeps you ready, prepared? I'm sure you feel a lot of pressure. You are fucking scared at that time. There are nerves. But let's say you train for one year or one and a half year. was it nutrition was it like uh, 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 you know everything combined together but that one most important factor that during that last second you're like okay fuck it let's go let's just do it you know it's the thought of the medal for me okay like i, all right. I all right. want that all right. like i want to take it back home so that's what happened to nice. me even in sweden i right. was losing hmm. okay like i was bad i was at my worst like one day before competition i was in tears like I didn't have a coach there. It was, I was in a bad shape mentally. In Sweden, one day before the competition, you broke down. Totally. All right. Why? So Why was that? So Just because you didn't have a coach. I didn't have. So it was my first international competition. Right. Everything was very foreign to me. Hmm. Um luckily I went one day before my competition to the stadium just to see the atmosphere luckily right. and it was just walking distance from the hotel we were staying so I walked to the stadium I saw what it's like around uh-huh. but that made me even more nervous <laughs> okay like I was just like like it hit me so hard like I'm I was sure. like I'm alone here there hmm. was no one from the federation there was just one athlete with me okay who I had met for the first time hmm. so like, from India yeah okay uh 
Yeah, so I didn't have like that feeling of belongingness that you still have in the competitions that you do here. Like yeah. you know, actually, maybe yeah, you expect the team. Hai. Yeah, exactly. You yeah. know familiar faces. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You've seen people. You know the coaches around. Even if it's not your own coach, it's just it's a community. Right. And you're there, and you're just like, who are these people here? So I was really scared, and also I had lost a lot of weight. Hmm. So I compete under forty three, and when I checked my weight one day before competition, I was like forty two point three. Okay. Which is very low. Okay. And so, that affects your lift. Yeah, of course. Yeah. Oh, okay. So, so and it like, I don't know. Like I just, I broke down. Like I had mm. this complete mental breakdown. That oh my god, like have I become weaker? Because I was on a very strict diet. Right. So I think I went <laughs> like extra strict because I couldn't go above forty three. Mm. So I was like really cutting down. And I was like surviving on green tea. Right. So I think I overdid that. Yeah, I think so. Yeah. <laughs> and I was too light. And I think that's when I called my three. Okay. <laughs> okay. <think> my three. <laughs> <laughs> we were supposed to lose weight. Right. But I think we lost too much weight. <laughs> <laughs> what did she? I I'm interested to know what did my three tell you. No, she just said, "Okay, go, go eat." Go hard, right? idiot. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So because I was like off carbs, she's like right. go eat bread. <laughs> right. Oh, bread. She said yeah. bread, right? Yeah, oh. yeah, yeah. She's like go eat bread. And I called my coach. And I started crying. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, I can't do this. I'm not going tomorrow. I so can't. Do what side you up then eventually? Like, what was the pep talk? Ah, uh, he just said he just asked me to shut up. Yeah. He's <laughs> like, have you lost it? Yeah. You've gone all the way there. Right. Just. Just shut up and do it. Like yeah. he's like, no matter what happens later, right? Just give it your best. He's like you've done this before. He he reminded me mm. of the amount of hard work we put in at right. the gym. Right. Right. Like so you've done this before. You got this. And I'm sure it's just for the first time because next time you already are acclimatized to that kind of pressure, right? Yeah. It's the same thing. Like it's maybe you saw huge people over there, but you were competing in your category, yeah. like they're like. Exactly. This brings me to the question that you know, uh, when you came back with the medal, right? Of course, you know, attention, fame, all that people people recognize, right? Mm. And then eventually, you also meet people who you. Get to know that are kind of jealous. I think it's pretty normal. It happens in a way, and you feel I it. I haven't met no? anyone. No, no. Or are you being just? No, surprisingly, never. Like, did you meet I, people? Let me just complete. Did you meet people <laughs> who you thought gave you the vibe that uh, since you are like you you weigh for, your category was for forty three kilos? Mm-hmm. It, is that how they uh, categorize weights? Like you under, were under forty three. Under forty. So you were lowest. under forty three and. naturally and physiologically you are expected to lift weight within your category yes. right yes. but when you go to gyms and all you see this stronger bigger girls who who are tuned to lift heavier weight yeah. do you yeah. get that vibe is no to itna hi uthaya i mean that kind of ignorance <laughs> right sometimes yeah that's what i'm asking about <laughs> yeah that happens um trying to take that I... glory away from you for some reason that is no to itna hi main to itna utha leti hu that's when i tell them that uh What's your body weight? <laughs> right, right. That's exactly what I was talking about. Yeah, I like just <laughs> ignorance. Yeah, in this place, in the place, right? Yeah. yeah. Like, why don't you try little, competing? That's a little mean, but I do that. See, please come out with it. That's what I really want from you, right? Because Rekha. I see guys who compare themselves with me. Like, oh, do you know, Sahaj? I started lifting as much as you do. Even I do a deadlift now. That's hundred k, a hundred kg deadlift. And I was right. like. Your body weight is eighty. You're lifting hundred. You said you just shame me. You say this. When you tell me, you say this. Tall, big dudes with big muscles. They weigh eighty and they're lifting hundred. Like I lift as much as a power lifter. Ignorance. You can't blame them. That's exactly what I want. Yeah. Roadies. No. <laughs> That's what I really want to talk about. It's it's too late now. You did I that. With, you you are on with YouTube. With Modi, I was just no, no. <laughs> not Modi's, but Rodi's. Here's a very interesting question. See, you can't dodge it because whether you like it or not, you are on YouTube. Not you. There are people who made videos that why did say. I know it's not on YouTube. This is stupidly why weird sounding guy. Right, funny, hilarious. <laughs> I love it. I'm gonna 
I'm going to put that as a story and tag you once. Oh, no. He said he starts with the thing that I'll tell you why I said. <laughs> Is there a controversy we had? And then at it's the end it's a lie by the way. Okay, that guy knows nothing. How did it happen? I want to know about listen everyone wants to know about roadies. You can't say Nobody no. Everyone wants artists. to know. Because it uh, uh, ho gaya ek saal khatam. So like raat gayi baat gayi. So I'm glad gayi. I'm glad gayi. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I had this guest uh, initial stages of interview right Naman Vijay Sharma a known face in Pune like she's a food vlogger she clicks food and she's also into journalism but, but pretty chill chill out that person so she also auditioned for roadies and i on the podcast like i took her case like i started talking like that bald guy rahu that a brody banegi tu rody banegi tu so we did, i know that so much in, 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 in a way we are just uh, so uh, you know tuned to make fun of people who've auditioned but i just want to know the experience that how fake is it how scripted is it and how real is it because music sound effects ke sath episode bahut alluring lagta hai but what's actually happening over there and what how are these guys like run vijay and the baldies and all these guys like so how the are the baldies they? are not there anymore oh you didn't meet them they're pretty hard for them yeah there. but they're not a part of roadies anymore oh shit are they no no no, no. Now there are like new different judges that they have. No, but but okay. Who I, I let's not get into technicalities. Who I was not very aware of. Okay. <laughs> so I I got a call like, right. do you want to be a part of the show? Okay. I was just like, no, <laughs> thanks. <laughs> Then what <laughs> made you? What made you? So there were uh, at that time I was working at a startup. Okay. There were two three people in that startup who watched the show. Like they yeah. were big fans of the show. They're like. तो हमारा सपना पूरा कर दे राइट राइट टू वन फॉर द टीम अरे सहेश प्लीज प्लीज इफ यू गो सर बिकॉज इट वॉज अ स्टार्ट अप लाइक इफ यू गो यू बिकम फेमस देन यू मार्केट द स्टार्ट अप मार्केटिंग स्ट्रेटेजी लाइक आई एम नॉट डूइंग दिस आई एम नॉट डूइंग दिस फॉर एनी वन आई एम नॉट डूइंग दिस फॉर लाइक आई वॉज जस्ट लाइक इट्स टू ट्रैश आई जस्ट होप पीपल डोंट वॉच दिस आई होप दे <laughs> chill it's that everyone is knows so rudy is trashy but well, okay fine i think That's personally <laughs> only that guy run which is holding that shit together yeah he right? is right? okay he is genuinely nice that like, guy is that guy is, is good. you look up to that guy you can easily differentiate see okay neha dhupia and all cool i mean sure yeah and now raftar and all these guys like they've made it in their field right you can't say shit about them hmm. but personally i don't find them as impressive as this guy He yes. looks like he owns that place. Like he, he holds does. the fort, he right? Does. He does. Those guys are like ancillary stuff. Like yeah, cool. They are cool people with flashy clothes and all. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So you met all of them, right? Yes. All of them. All of them. Tell, tell me something more. No, I I want good stuff. Don't don't bitch about it. Okay. We'll do that yeah, off yeah. Okay. camera. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Let's not get into yeah. that. But um, I mean, the experience overall was good. Right. So I went for that. I was like, ठीक है. Right. Why not? So question. So since you got a call, so you were already placed. in the main no, or you I had to play had to i still had to audition for okay. it but for i just didn't have to stand in line oh right <laughs> that right. was the only difference right, but right. i still had to go right through all the rounds right. and all of that um i was like okay i mean what an experience right why not yeah so and i was i've always been very camera conscious i still am right so, so okay so, let's let's so get over so am i another so like okay yeah. let's get over this Hmm. You know, because I know that obviously it's a reality show. There'll be a lot of cameras. Yeah. Let's just get over some fear of mine. Um, yes, I went through the audition rounds. I cleared that they were asking questions and stuff. And then comes that main PI round, which they show on right. television. Uh, and I was very nervous that sure. day. And um, so the thing was that when I got there and the final, I think there were like twenty to thirty people from each city that they select. Okay. To go till the PI, and uh, so I went obviously with the Pune city right. people. There was Pune and Bombay mixed, and I really vibed with those people. They were actually genuinely nice. Like there was right. this um, the contestants who were yeah, selected. Yeah, the contestants. Right, yeah, right. Yeah. So there was this environmentalist who was mm. there, like some amazing. Like he's won awards from the UN right, and right. stuff. Like just, there were one two people who were sure, nice. Sure, sure, sure. Who I vibed with, um, but. So the time when uh, they mic'd me, they were like, "Okay, you know, you're up next." I just freaked out. I was like, "Okay, I don't want to do this." 
Okay. okay. This, <laughs> yeah, I, I, I can see a pattern. <laughs> I can see a pattern. This happens to you pretty often, right? Yeah. I don't want to know. Yeah, I get like right when you're about. Yeah. Yeah. Are you planning to get married? No. You know. Yeah. Or maybe call your coach or friends that you know I can't do it. Quite possible. Yeah. I can. I think my yeah that that might just happen. Yeah. To my future husband, <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna run away. <laughs> or maybe come back. I don't know. Medal. No. He, he should keep medals yeah, to keep you. I should think about that. <laughs> yeah. If I think about a medal, I'll, I'll be back. Anyway, so I freaked out. I was like, no, no, I'm not doing this. This is not my thing. So even they freaked out. They were like, "How can you say no now? <laughs> <laughs> no, you have to go. You have to go." Like, Was it Bani J by any chance? Because she used to no, she didn't do that anymore. <laughs> so they were just like, "No, no, you have to go. You have to go." I was like, "Are you? But I'm I'm saying no. There are hundred people who want to be a part of it. I yeah. I don't want to. Why yeah. are you forcing me?" They were like, "You okay, wait, wait. We'll yeah. talk to you later." So they kept me aside. They kept me aside for like a whole day, two okay. days, because I was like. I'm not doing this. You just, and at that point of time, uh, everyone from Pune was done auditioning. Right. They were done. They were. They went back home also, but they kept me there. <laughs> they weren't letting you go. No. And they weren't even letting you audition. Mm-hmm. Oh, you weren't I, auditioning. I wasn't auditioning. They were trying to convince me. Were they? Me. Did like, they tie you down or what? Like, how can they someone? They didn't tie me, but I was in Bombay. Right. Illegal uh, detention. Like, how do you do that? <laughs> I mean, it wasn't detention, but. I was just like no, and then they were trying to convince me. I was having little bow also. <laughs> so it was like this as game as that I was playing. They were paying for the stay or everything yeah, or everything. Exactly, Perfect. Yeah. You should have done that for another <laughs> two three days then. Yeah. So that's when uh, since I stayed back, that then the Chandigarh people had come. Okay. And I did not vibe with them at all, and I was yeah. like, oh my god. And before, like, so when the Pune people entered was when the Delhi people were exiting. Mm-hmm. I didn't even like those people much. You don't like North Indians, I guess. Yeah. Yeah. Thanks. <laughs> Thanks. I mean, I don't I'm, I'm dislike. As, I'm, I don't I'm dislike as north them. as North can get. No, I do not dislike North yeah. Indians. I just don't vibe with them. Thanks. Yeah. <laughs> Some yeah. of them. Yeah. Like the very <laughs> typical ones hmm. with the big fat ego. The, <laughs> okay. Yeah. No, okay. Yeah, yeah. And who, who also an people? incident happened. Okay. okay. Which like at uh, yeah, with North Yeah, Indies. like no, when we were eating, hmm. there was this guy, I think he was from Chandigarh. Um he like he threw a wrapper somewhere on the floor and I I requested him, I was like, What are you doing? Please yeah. pick it up. Don't be a dick, yeah. Pick yeah. that up. I said it nicely. Okay. <laughs> uh like, just put it in the dustbin, please. He's like, तू कौन होती है भाई मेरे को बोलने वाली है ना और ना ऑफिस से लाइक आउच वाव व्हाई वेयर आर यू कम फ्रॉम ओके आई वाज सरप्राइज लाइक बिकॉज़ आई हैव नॉट आई हैव बीन बोर्न एंड ब्रोड अप इन पुणे एवरीवन्स नाइस या दैट्स वेरी हाउ मेनी टॉक्स लाइक दैट हियर so oh. and that's when I was just like no like if I have to spend because so the shoot apparently is for a month I was like okay. if I have to spend a month with people like this oh, I'll lose my off. shit okay okay so I was like I'm not doing this I don't vibe with these people then the director of the show directly he came to me he was right. like you know why not and he mm. said no this season is a little different it's about revolution okay. you've done something great you'll right. be able to inspire people yeah they wanted to <coughs> cash in on you right it makes yeah. sense yeah yeah so i was like okay theek hai theek hai but it had already been 3 days and mm-hmm. you can't even change your clothes because they take like behind the same shoes okay. and all of that right. so i was like dirty yeah and i was annoyed right so on the third day was when my audition happened when mm-hmm. i was like in a very annoyed state of mind right so even in my audition i'm just like You yeah, know, like that, that's it. That, that's where they made you do squats, right, with that barbell on. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. 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 But, for but I wasn't myself at all in that audition. Like yeah, right. when I, I wasn't even ready to watch it. I haven't seen the entire thing. I'm like sure. I'm sure. I know what that means. Yeah. Yeah. Because I was, I was like in such a bad mood that day. I was just like, I want to get out of here. I just want to get this done with. Please send me home. <laughs> yeah. So you had enough of it <clears throat> at the early stage. Yeah. Was it kind? What if you just passed that mental barrier and you might have enjoyed the whole journey, the roadies journey? I know stupid brash people, but that's their game, right? If so I was ready to go, so I got mm-hmm. selected. There was another round also that happened which I enjoyed and all yeah. of that. 
um but uh, it, uh, way, where you guys were talking about the stuff that you've done right that's the only thing on youtube yeah. right so no i'm not talking about i'm talking about proper roadies game where people stay inside and then they yeah, bitch yeah, about yeah, each other yeah, and yeah. they so even fight i didn't fight. want that and right. uh, also what i saw in those 3 4 days that i did stay there right <clears throat> it's very hectic uh huh and uh because it's such a hectic schedule where you're sleeping late you're waking up really early right. you're shooting in the sun all those things mm. that's when um i think they do that on purpose because right. that's when they try to bring out the worst in you mm. that's when the show gets trashy right because you're like so tired and then one person will say something that triggers you and you're just like abusing and you're yeah. like full drama 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 <laughs> <laughs> i was like i don't want my reputation as hmm. an athlete or whatever because makes sense yes i could tend to also lose my shit right so i don't want sure, to yeah. show people that human that beings side. you're a human exactly, being at the exactly. end of the day so right? i don't want to show anyone that side of me i don't want right. that side to be brought out right anyway so i was yeah. like imagine say as with all that language that she doesn't <laughs> use <laughs> no, language wouldn't have come but i would have just been like <laughs> yeah Really. So 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 <coughs> the plan is there to always represent, put yourself out there as a responsible athlete, right? You want to do that, yeah. okay, cool. Because I don't want to lose hope on you, right? Because now you're saying that you're not certain right now, but I hope you get back with I don't know <laughs> something. Have you ever thought of combat sports? I personally think you'll be good at good at it. I mean, I think, and a lot of people like like boxing coaches come into. I'm not that. even talking about hitting other people because somehow I get that idea that you might not be good as good as, you know, it, when it comes to Muay Thai, kickboxing, and stuff like when you have to beat other girls, maybe not, maybe not. I'm not sure, but when it comes to sports like judo or jiu jitsu, I think you can kill it. I just that must be me. Yeah. That can be me, but. Yeah, I've always you, wanted to try it. I have this friend, right, who's coming up with a fantastic initiative in Pune. He, not like you know these gyms, right? Every gym has a punching bag, and then they say that we are doing MMA over here. Not the, all that crap. Not for fitness and hmm. to show your abs and all that. Not yeah, that. Yeah. He's creating fighters. It's okay. called MMA Syndicate India. This guy okay. Vishwe. She's coming up with a gym, a proper dedicated gym, affiliated with All India Mixed Martial Arts Association in Pune. in pune in in pune yes and okay. i i'm he's a good friend of mine and i always he keeps me up to date with whatever is happening i might call him again because he's coming up with the gym now he's tied up with uh, good associations and he always is you know up to date and in conversations with all those people jackie shirov son and daughter they've started this mfn this huge <laughs> indian <laughs> version yeah, of yeah, yeah. ufc right i think maybe it's too late for you to compete in olympic lifts but you know there are fighters yeah. who started at 30 i would love to that so, i would love to like right? i've always wanted to food for thought right yeah. i mean why not give jiu jitsu a chance and i really like how agile those people are like as a lifter i don't think i am as agile and i've always wanted to like right obviously grass is so green yeah, <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah and yeah, you're yeah. doing one sport and then you're seeing another at least i'm like oh that sport looks cool though yeah <laughs> why not yeah <laughs> but but fighting is a different ball game you are a competitor sure you are an athlete sure but when you get punched on your face right i know that I change know. that will make you my i face. That, that, so maybe <laughs> not that's face. why <laughs> that's why maybe not uh, kickboxing or you see but you never know you never it's all about you right maybe you get so there's this beautiful pretty hot sexy and all those adjectives woman a ufc fighter right uh, page van zant right okay. she left ufc and and she was loved also she was a good she is a good fighter but uh, ufc is all mixed <coughs> martial arts right <coughs> she left ufc and went to uh, something called bkfc that's bare knuckle fight club it's an upcoming thing they don't even wear gloves yeah, they just box the suggests- they just box no kicks no grappling nothing just socks raw socks on your face right raw punches on your face bare knuckle and after the fight these women are all Ouch. swollen up she still pretty she healed up and all so i'm just saying there's a scope <laughs> Sahaj as a jiu jitsu player or MMA player I see some scope Again. give okay. it a try yeah, once sure. yeah yes no nice. again like for me if i get into a sport or any skill yeah i need a good coach Re- like sure sure where the like fine pune you really don't that's have that's why i'm saying this guy is coming up yeah, yeah I, I, i so I need you need a coach yeah mm-hmm. so i am one of those who's like 
I even if in the gym, right? I mean, I don't need a coach because I'm not. <laughs> I used to play competitive table tennis when I was young, right? So I used to represent J and K at national TT on that all that stuff. But I still used to hate people who used to coach me for some reason. It's I know ego. No, that's ego. <laughs> <laughs> I no, got there, you. There are there there are, there are other North Indians who loved it. Who loved it? It's just me. <laughs> yeah, that North Indian. <laughs> I'm not. Funniest was during that whole thing when I was like, okay, you know, and I, I directly told the director that I don't, am I care about my reputation? Right. Like, he's like, come on the show and stay quiet. You don't have to be a part of these fights. And right. I was like, I don't want to be stupid either. Exactly, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not just going to come and stand like that. So yeah. So M and L will be a thing. What about your social media? Like, what what do you think about it? Instagramming and all. That's really personal, but you put most of the stuff out there. Yeah. The, so also, full circle brings me back to like what's happening. Like, is that is the sport the only thing, or your relationship thing is in crisis? Because you tend to write about it, you tell people about it. Do you think you owe your followers all this information? Another mm, person? Not at all. But um, I just like putting relatable content out there because. Okay. Uh, I've seen that a lot of people appreciate it hmm. and they want it, like they long for it. So is it, it's a business strategy. You can call it a business strategy. Probably. Why not? Yeah, yeah. yeah. This is a content writer creating relatable content. Right, something like that. So you're not. But I do it from the bottom of sure, my heart. Sure, it shows. It shows. Yeah. But you're not emotionally attached to it, right? Not at all. No. So every post has a strategy behind, right? Yes. Because I personally think that you don't owe your followers shit. No. It's so uh, that is why, like, I won't just, uh, I, I'm like very selectively vulnerable out there. Okay. And then, like, I'll also try to put in something positive, you know, something that someone can take out of it. Right. Like, I won't just hmm. randomly put out, okay, my life sucks. Yeah. I exactly. won't just put out my sad story. Why do you care about my sad life? Exactly. But I try exactly. to put in like a positive view out of it. Like even my life is sad. I'm sure even yours is. But this is what we can do when yeah. our life sucks. Yeah. Maybe. But so, uh, I don't know. Even if it like helps one two people. That that's a very noble thought. <laughs> yeah, but but you know when you uh, there's this another thing that you know okay you should post your failures as well. You know this mm-hmm. thing that mm-hmm. you know don't show that all. Yeah. Why? Why it's like a photo album to be very honest, right? It's like a photo album with pictures and some moving pictures that move at twenty five frames per second. That's it. It's a fucking photo album. आपके घर में जो photo album होती हैं क्या आप उसमें अपने failures दिखाते हो? It's the same thing. Like why that to do that? True. Yeah, I mean why to do that? Okay, I don't want to do that. Yeah, that's my life. That's my awesome life. Go fucking feel jealous. But I don't it's not it. a photo album. Hey. It is a social platform. Like, All right. So, like people connect with that platform. It's come to that point hmm. where there's so much of content you're consuming out of that app. Right. So, why not put something that would like something positive? Like something why? What? Why? I mean, my चेहरा देखे तुम क्या करोगे? Trust me, there are there are people who can do a lot. तुम्हारे चेहरा देखे. I mean, I know you know. See, that also. <laughs> It's <laughs> not that I don't post pictures of myself. Right. But apart from Cre- that, what? Do you get extra. creepy messages from men? Because that's a very common. No, I don't. I don't get that. creepy. I get like DMs. really I'm talking about respectable DMs. DMs. Like really respectable DMs. Like nothing creepy. I'm, I'm I've never. With, uh, that's what like. Know. Because girls have shared stuff. They always <laughs> ask ask for. Bob and Veggie is the new thing that they call it nowadays. Yeah, they ask for new stuff. Bob. Ch- yeah, bo- exactly, Bob. And Anvi told me this on the show that she gets DMs like Bob. I'm like, what is Bob? And she told me she's asking for boobs. Boob. I'm like, Bob. Wait, I took like so long. To see, <laughs> see. So I think uh, our audience has also evolved now. They don't ask for Bob. Yeah, yeah I've never been asked for never? My Bob. Never. <laughs> <laughs> Sweet. Sweet. Yeah. Nice. I get respect to both teams. That's that's yeah. that's nice. At least those creeps respect athletes. That's the only relevant. creepy thing is when people say, "Hi, ma'am, please take my name." Please take my name. 
<laughs> just say my name this one name whoa, is whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> i don't know what this you know how it sounds right <laughs> like you know say my name like the their guys okay, you this one guy he said <laughs> it's my best friend's oh, birthday the... her name is this like just that. type her name oh like that like, like tag her or something like that just just type it. like Or in a comment, just please say elaborate. my name. Like they, you get a message. I, I don't understand. So I it's like me telling you that, say please write up your money on your comment. That hmm. that's it. Hmm. Wow, they've taken and three to another level. And then they get like so happy. Oh, she wrote my name. Uh, oh, oh, <laughs> no, right. I don't, I don't right. understand. I just don't understand human beings. Do you? So you've tasted this chunk of powerlifting medal roadies. These platforms they give you fame, right? You've tasted this chunk. Do you crave more, or is it fame that you crave more? Are you sure? No, because it's too soon to say no. I expect you to do a lot Not of stuff. Yeah, I mean, um, I wouldn't say I dislike it, but I don't crave for it. No, I have to push. No, I have to push. Are you actually that sorted in a way? I mean, I'm just, I'm just you <laughs> know, genuinely, wondering. Like very genuinely. Because people want. Because it. I don't like. do like i'm not so i don't actively um strategize my social media in a way where okay now i'll increase followers i don't use hashtags and you stuff like that you don't need to you don't need to many people no, do I mean, sure i still can i mean there's always scope there are, for growth sure 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 but i don't long for it hmm like organically whoever right follows right and right follows. You exactly. you crack one medal, another place you will get a huge spikes. People follow, right? Yeah. All right. Nice said. Anything else that you want to talk about? <coughs> Something. Whatever you feel like. You you you're on a platform right now. Whatever mm-hmm. you want to feel like. Well, so coming back to Instagram, I feel um I. Coming to back get like after two okay. days. <laughs> no no. You need to tell yeah, people I, that. I, I, yeah I yeah yeah. yeah. <laughs> like same topic. Um I. tend to get addicted to that platform like it's just a habit like i won't scroll through it much i don't spend too much time um but it's just a habit to keep opening the app so there are times when i'll just delete it for two days i deactivate mm. my account two three days i'm off mm. it and in fact the last time i did it was just last week i was off for two days right and the placement of the app right. on my home page My thumb still just—it just goes yeah. there. Like it's an empty space. Involuntarily, and my automatically, thumb, just goes there. It's muscle memory. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Which is so bad, and that's when it hit me. I was like, okay, now I need to be off it. Like it's—it's it's just detox. Yeah. Just need to be off it because you just open, you see someone's story. It's like why do I? It's someone's life that yeah, you're actually stalking in a way. Yeah, why do I have the need way. to see other people? Everyone's life. a stalker. Do you agree? Everyone's a stalker. Everyone. We are stalking, right? It's <laughs> like a huge stalking platform. Yeah. People with open profiles and people with sh- private profiles, you just curse them. Why the fuck are you not open? <laughs> yeah, right? Why are you not accepting my request? <laughs> Where are you traveling? I want to know. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, it's and it's insane. It's insane. And you know what? I don't think. I think you've taken it too seriously. You've taken. So maybe there are repercussions because of the phase that you're going through right now. You don't want to look at someone's picture, or you don't want to know what mm-hmm. what's happening. Like you want to stay away, but you also want to know, like all that stuff. Like you know, not really. No. no, like I'm very happy with what I'm doing. Right. Although I'm clueless. Right. <laughs> but uh, it's not that. Uh, like I'm not envious of anybody's life like that. Okay, that's that's good. That's no. good. Yeah. Some clarity. Yeah, but that finger thing that happens. That happens. Yeah, I I like, I don't delete my account. Yeah, like for me. Uh, Consuming content on Instagram is more about uh, okay, what place can I travel to next? What hmm. food can I eat next? Yeah, I see. It's not that. Like, oh my God, she's eating and she's so lucky. It's like even I can. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> like I will do this. <laughs> right. So I like th- that's what I do with Instagram. And uh, just, so, like, what's your travel and? food thing like what's your travel plan like I travel I, to eat <laughs> you travel to eat that's your main mostly uh, apart from that i like like doing a lot of adventure activities ah, i see that i you know like i think like if somebody asks me where do you see yourself down few years down i think i'll just have like an adventure company of my own maybe that's sweet right that's like nice like i wouldn't mind doing mm. that but it's 
like you taking know, packages the, taking people to different yeah, places i don't have the guts to do that though like start my own company okay not this particular right. thing but just I, having I, a business I, from what i have stocked on insta athletes who turn into entrepreneurs are pretty good because they are organized like good athletes turn into good entrepreneurs so yeah why the hell not you should give it a shot Yeah. Mm. Like if I ever do start a business, this would be it. Like I love organizing events in general, and I love adventure, yeah. sports activities. Nice. Like something exciting. Like I've been seeing videos on kite surfing. Like you're literally flying and surfing. Right. <laughs> like Whoa. Stuff wait, like wait, wait. That. Kites. You're flying and surfing. Flying as in say you have like a, a. It's like a parachute sort of a thing in your hand. Okay. It's I would it's not a kite but it's a, it's more like a parachute it has the it's uh, something like sailing right sort of okay. but so you're on a surfboard right and you fly and you come back in the water you're literally in the air right. and then you're back in the water like you have to land back and then you have to but surf question. and when the wind is like really how hot. do you go it's the wind like oh the wind so it, there must be that uh, what do you call those things no so the the, the no sail no no, no. It's, it's, how it's are you the, flying oh you have to watch videos on i will <laughs> i will i should i i, I wish i had that There's screen this that this guy remero okay Yeah, I'll like give him a shout out, right? <laughs> since you mentioned Romero, is he good with those oh, flying? Oh, he is so good. Nice. And the places he goes to, be like, it's like that's next oh, on my list. So that's your king, huh? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> nice, nice. To say anything exciting, thrilling, new. Cool. Nice. That was awesome, Saj. I loved it. Anything else? Still, you've got time. You tell me something. <laughs> oh, this is interview with Abhimanyu, not off Abhimanyu. I know. <laughs> how much do people know about you? I should tell them. I would. How much you dislike <laughs> <laughs> human beings? <laughs> no, I don't. Not at all. Not at all. It's just. I mean, that's just my thing. I I like to keep my life to a limited people in a way. That is nice. I think that happens with age because I think you are a lot of like. older people to say things like okay. <laughs> you know why i genuinely mean thanks because you're the first person who's actually acknowledged that okay there is an an age gap right because most of the people and the day i clean shave they just think <laughs> how old do you think i am 27 see again i'm 32 okay so uh, so here's the thing so still you've been generous when you say 27 I, that still makes me happy because i've always heard 23 24 fine But people are going by the looks the maybe by what yeah just like like you, behavior you, no you told me about how much experience you have and what all you so you were assuming in a way yeah like calculations so yeah so no no that's <laughs> very uh, yeah age does that to you but i have seen older people and a lot of them it, it didn't do shit to them right they're still out there <laughs> living that life that's just not me that's just there's a lot of noise already inside my head yes. and uh, you know I like people who contribute something valuable. That, that okay. is so true. So I am even I am already very mm. selective about the people. Like yeah. I wasn't few years ago, but now I'm very selective about the people I hang out with, and I consciously hang out with <coughs> people that are older to me. Right. Because I think they bring more value into my life. That's one way of looking at it. Because you but meet and specific, that every age. Uh, yeah. specific yeah, you need to people it out. Yeah. older to me. Because who are like doing something with their life. I don't know whether it happens to you, but for me, going into a gathering, social gathering, it's a hollow chase for some reason. You just when you come back and you've chilled with five, six people, had drinks with them. Been you know show you know lost your inhibitions and you know said casual stuff. When I come back home, okay, fine. In that moment, maybe you hooked up with someone. Maybe you had a nice mm-hmm. chat with someone. Whatever happened, and when you eventually come back, I personally feel that I've lost something of yeah. me to yeah. that stranger. This happened right? to me yesterday. I oh, was nice. having a conversation with somebody on Instagram. Mm-hmm. Like I said, something like we had a conversation for about fifteen minutes. After someone 15, you knew, yeah, yeah. Okay. Now after fifteen minutes, I was like. This is the most useless conversation I've had in my entire day. I just lost fifteen minutes of my life. I I know what you mean. <laughs> and this guy goes like, "But such conversations make the rest of your life interesting." 
like this is when you realize <laughs> you just like, send a sound out shut what? the fuck up <laughs> no this <laughs> this <laughs> bye yeah like i literally said i need to get a life bye <laughs> yeah so i i realize and here's the tricky part so this is there's also a flip side to this so you uh, coming from experience right so you tend to incline towards just a few people like mm. two three four mm. friends mm. your lover whatever you want to call them all these people in your head you're like yeah these are my people and i'm going to vibe with them always just the way i do when one of them turns into a dickhead right and as so of then you're shattered oh shit that was my only support <laughs> what happened <laughs> now what to do so then maybe people lose their shit and then they go out and seek all that stuff love whatever fake love outside so i will any day be a recluse i will choose solitude over any day i can shut this lockdown was so easy for me so easy it it went like this a because i write so that's my mental zone always even if i'm not writing i'm so happy with myself that fine if someone valuable comes i love it i love it i invite it i welcome it but if just like that i have stopped putting myself out there hmm. like yeah yeah if that makes sense it does so i used to actively seek out hmm. for a companion right right who doesn't who doesn't it's very natural yeah, yeah. like i was very actively looking right. like i have found the right person in my life and right. he should be la la like a checklist very <laughs> yeah, 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 like yeah yeah he should be la 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 he should be <laughs> big list then eventually i was like what am i doing right like, i'm good enough for Take, myself I takes a lot of energy right but i i i I'm not completely independent. Uh-huh. Uh I still do depend on another man I would say. Like I have I still That's have all right, that yeah. dependency to a certain level which I'm slowly trying to reduce to because mm-hmm. I I need someone which I and I don't like it. And I don't ooh. want to need someone. Like you I want to be enough for myself. Because you think that you've been taken for granted with uh, by a few people? No. Nothing like, like that. did someone hurt you like no, no, something no, like that never because that. those are the main triggers right because okay you've been hurt now or you are the one who hurts people it's i just, it's it's has the player <laughs> <laughs> yeah that could be it yeah right? it's it's like you know <laughs> All this while I've been talking about people, and I, eventually I get to know that Sahaj is the people. <laughs> yeah, that could be it. Like I'm, I'm a little selfish. Tell me something. Here's the thing that also happens with competitive women, especially women. Okay. Yeah, we did all that blaming people that okay, people don't care, blah blah blah. There, this is, and it's it's all right to talk about it. I think it's perfectly all right. It doesn't put you in a bad light or something like that. competitive women people women who are really competitive they get bored by men very easily yeah, exactly. so it's not it's not uh, uh, like, like it, again if you're not adding value to my life yeah bye. and not even <laughs> value not even value if not you know here there's another you know not value value is the wrong word a guy exciting guy, enough yeah guy adds value most of the time guys are very sweet when it comes to you know they they will show gestures of love and affection <laughs> in a way <laughs> but this is where they lose the game maybe especially with competitive women so they don't offer certain you know so you you will uh, okay he's not completing the sentence <laughs> <laughs> to all my exes listen carefully please complete right, the sentence right 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 so they aren't exciting enough in a way that they aren't doing something that triggers tiny conflict in you that okay Okay, he's better at me at something, right? Yeah, at something. yeah. So he's like, better he at me. He has to keep some... me on my toes. Right, right. So he's better at. Okay, fine. If he's not yeah, he a good has to athlete, be better than me. That he, is so yeah, true. Yeah. He, if he's not a good athlete, there's something that he does. He's so bloody passionate about it that he doesn't give a shit about yeah, anything yeah. else. So I need an edge over that. Hmm. That need to have that edge yeah, over. Yeah, yeah. Is that? Is yeah, that, that is so it. see, we just like need... I need to be intimidated by the guy. You said it. Yep, guys. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, if you're not intimidating, you're boring. Right. So that's the reason. Maybe people like you hop a lot, which is absolutely fine. Why can't you have that? Still yeah. exploring. Right, right. So you get bored aspect. of people. You get bored of boring men, and you <laughs> are exploring. So that's your cause, right? So you're looking for someone interesting, and. soon that interesting one might get yeah, like boring again if i am growing even you have to 
be even more interesting. Right, <laughs> like right. We, we grow together. It's pretty natural. Yeah. yeah. Nice. That's also competition. <laughs> sure, <laughs> it, it has to be. I think it just makes the whole romance a little more interesting. Of course. Right? Yeah, yeah. Otherwise, yeah. just have a bestie, you know? Like, yeah. uh, have hot chocolate with that <laughs> guy and just exactly. go home, right? <laughs> exactly. Yeah, exactly. Correct. Nice. Yeah. Thanks, Ed. It was awesome. <laughs> this was awesome. Awesome having you over here.